Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a Aldi Huntington Home Candle Haul for you guys. So I don't know about you guys, but my store releases their um, weekly finds on a Wednesday. So today was candle day for my store. I was really happy to see a new candle collection. It feels like it's been a couple of weeks since good three wick candles have come out. So my goal was to get all four cents that came out. Unfortunately, my local store, the one closest to me, did not have the sweet watermelon scent. And I don't know if any others experienced that with going to the store without, with not being able to find the sweet watermelon scent. My husband stopped at another Aldi's. He had no luck finding me the sweet watermelon. I do try to pick up all the fragrances. That way I can review them for you guys. But unfortunately this week I was a little bit on the unlucky side. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about the fragrances I did pick up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. And that is Seaside Boardwalk. And automatically when I saw this fragrance in the ad last week as a preview, I figured that this would end up being a Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk dupe. I figured it would be a play on words. I was completely wrong. This was everything I did not expect it to be. So let me go ahead and pop the top off. That way I can give it a sniff and let you guys know what I think. As always, I will rate these like one through three on which was my favorite, which was my least favorite. So this one, I definitely get like cologne men's vibes. It lends itself to be a little bit on the fresh side with the cologne scent, but yet it has just a touch of spice. Usually I don't like the spicy men's cologne scents because I think that they smell dated and old. This one, not too bad. I do like that it does have the really thick three wicks in it. So this appears that it is going to be a good burner. So let's go ahead and hop over to the next scent here. Sticking with the same color. We have here Sparkler Cupcakes. And I will say that this like really was not on the top of my list to get. I figured, oh, just another vanilla cake scent. I'm not too keen on vanilla scents. It even shows vanilla uh, like cupcakes there. But personally, I do not think that this smells at all like vanilla cupcakes. Let me go ahead and pop the top off and let you guys know what I think. Now, I smelled this briefly when I was at work. That way, I could kind of form an opinion. So, let's see if my opinion changed since being at work earlier. And no, my opinion has not changed. I get chocolate cake notes. I do not get vanilla cake. I get a chocolate cake scent, which I'm surprised because, like I said, it shows vanilla cupcakes on the package. It has that lighter colored wax. But I get almost the smell of... I think they're called Swiss rolls, like the chocolate cake with the cream. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Typically not a cakey kind of bakery smell kind of girl, but you know what? I really do like this one. Now the one that I was eager to get my hands on out of all of them, including the watermelon that I lucked out on, I knew for a fact I wanted the red, white, and blueberry. I knew that I wanted two. My friend did pick me up two of these since I was at work today. I think it's really cute because it has the bomb popsicles on it. Very 4th of July. So let's go ahead and pop the top off that one. Once again, nice thick three wicks, nice really dark blue color. And oh, this literally smells like sweet sugared blueberries. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. I am so happy that I got two of these. So let's go ahead and line these up and rate them one through three, of which I thought was the best and which was my least favorite. Excuse my clutter in the background. So my least favorite, my number three, would be the Seaside Boardwalk. I don't think it's bad by any means, but it's just not a favorite of mine. Next, we have Sparkler Cupcakes. That would be my number two. 
I was surprisingly impressed by that one because it was not a vanilla cake scent like I expected. Like I said, it definitely smelled like chocolate Swiss rolls to me. And then obviously my number one, as I expected, is the red, white, and blueberry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short Aldi Huntington home haul. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.